So we're back. We're just doing reading comprehension now for people who need practice. The Scholastic Aptitude Test, or the SAT, it, uh, has taken away these longer passages unless you're doing advanced placement, French, Spanish, or German. It, it's really not that long. So let's go ahead. Uh, the title of this is A Cult of Personality. It was written by one of our test assessors. So let's look at this. Psychologists describe the cult of personality as a form of copying or lionizing an individual's mannerisms. The most prominent example of cult of personality is Adolf Hitler's Schutzstaffel. The SS guards the Schutzstaffel forced people to follow Hitler's mannerisms. The SS adopted Hitler's homicidal rants and mimicked Hitler's ethnic slurs. The cult following of Hitler's Nazism was similar to the cult following of the Rocky Horror Picture Show. In the latter, people began wearing fishnet stockings, cross-dressing for a film, bringing plastic slasher knives, and bringing umbrellas to the theaters. People brought plastic slasher knives to a movie theater. This action appeared macabre, although few people were mutilated or hurt at a theater. However, in Hitler's Europe, people were decimated and literally died by the dozens. Rocky Horror became a celebrity, although he murdered characters in a movie. People became indoctrinated while celebrating Rocky's style. Hitler, a famous leader, was celebrated. Many people believed and feared more than loved him. Former United States President John F. Kennedy and his wife, Jacqueline Kennedy, J Jacqueline K. Onassis posthumously, obtained cult followings. Women wore their hair in bouffant styles, and JFK was lauded throughout the United States, despite rumors of sordid affairs. The day before his burial, flags in many countries signified a fallen leader, yet he was not the leader of more than three countries, as was Hitler. Is a cult personality, cult of personality good or bad? This depends on the people who follow the cult figure's personality. Due to Hitler's commands, many people agree that Hitler's cult following chilled the spines of many people. Lasting effects of his ravenous, hateful attitude includes his victims suffering lifelong traumas. Some tragedies include nightmares of being locked in a room. Unfortunately, the people who demonstrate these traumas live in nursing homes and at their residences throughout the world. Many people are nonagenarians. Some survive the torture, including living despite their family members dying in front of them. John F. Kennedy's death led many Americans and global citizens bereft of idealism and hope for the future, yet most people do not suffer personal traumas due to a cult figure's death. Most of us remember Kennedy's legacy. Some presidential candidates refer to JFK's legacy during their candidacy. The cult of personality refers to modeling the person's behavior. JFK's wife, Jacqueline Kennedy, became a cult figure alongside her husband. Her iconic hairstyles and foreign design became an economy for women. I'm sorry, that's a foreign designs. Why do people follow cult figures? I sell things you need to be. I am the smiling face on your TV. Living Color songwriters, Corey Glover, Vernon Reed, Muzz Skillings, and Will Calhoun wrote these lyrics to inform listeners of former Soviet Union President Nikita Khrushchev's warning about Joseph Stalin's legacy. Khrushchev's warnings about the cult of the individual evoked from Karl Marx's perspective on a soul figure leading a crowd. An individual can lead people in either a positive manner or in a negative manner. Hitler was negative. Kennedy was positive. Individuals become cult figures during a time of crisis 
or extreme euphoria. Who we choose to follow depends on the crisis. During Vladimir Lenin's revolution, Russian people needed economic help. During John F. Kennedy's reign, the American people needed hope. Therefore, both types of leaders thrived due to the needs of their followers. The cult of personality is dangerous if followed to the rigor of a malevolent person or helpful if people follow any level of a good person. And now we can go back and answer our questions. And we can be pretty quick about this. What is the author's purpose? Now let's think about what the article said and you guys can rewind and play these questions. But I'm gonna go ahead and read A, B, C, and D, and then we're going to look at the article. It's very small writing, so when, it, when I show it to you. The author wants to explain that leaders are either good or bad. Okay, he did bring up leaders. The author wants to explain that Nikita Khrushchev's speech was famous for describing the cult of personality. He only brought this up a little. So I don't think Nikita Khrushchev is like what you call, because of this one, these two words here, former leader, it's really what you call too narrow. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. The author wants to explain how the cult of personality affects people who follow leaders. And that's a possibility, so we're going to check this off. And the author wants to explain the concept of the cult of personality. So we're going to move right on. Okay, so we already went over that B was out because Nikita Khrushchev's speech made it too limited. And I wrote on the other slide too narrow, but it's too limited and you can go too narrow or too limited. It's talking about Nikita Khrushchev's speech and its effect. Okay, but see, here's a, here's a situation. The author wants to explain that leaders are either good or bad. These were our three choices, were A, C, and D. So if the author wants to explain that leaders are good or bad, he's talking about the cult of personality. He's talking about the cult of personality and how this affects leaders. So again, this is part of it, but it's not quite it. So you call that too narrow. See, it's just a narrow view, and you're looking for the larger you. Okay, you're looking for your, your first sentence. Usually when you guys write, you learn that there's a thesis statement and everything backs it. So it starts out, psychologists describe a cult of personality as a form of copying or lionizing an individual's mannerisms. That's one definition. That's all we're concerned about right now. And then they bring up that somehow a prominent example of cult of personality is Adolf Hitler's uh, shoot stuffle. So they're talking about leaders and what they did, not just that they're good or bad. Okay, so then when we go to C, the author wants to explain how the cult of personality affects people who follow leaders. Okay, we talked about that when we brought up the, 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 the nursing homes and the nonagenarians who are having nightmares. We talked about how uh, people were following Jackie Kennedy's hairstyles and her clothes. So we talked about good. We talked about how people got killed. But when we, we look at, we, we started talking about how people came to the movie Rocky Horror. Okay. The Rocky Horror Picture Show, excuse me. Uh, and how people started cross-dressing and, you know, they had these fishnet stockings. So these were two paragraphs on what happens and what they do. But now when I go to the next slide, I'm going to take a look at what happened with the rest of the paragraph, and then we're going to get to C or D. Okay, so now we have that the author wants to explain how the cult of personality affects people who follow leaders. So here you go, John F. Kennedy's death. Many Americans, global citizens. We're just looking at words, idealism and hope for the future. Uh, some presidential candidates, I'm going over things that are important, refer to JFK's legacy during their candidacy. Okay, so you've got here this part where people 
who didn't come up in this time didn't really follow uh, you know what I'm saying and some of us aren't old enough to, to remember Kennedy's uh, presidency but we can remember when we read about him what he is okay so the people who follow leaders all of us don't really follow him we may follow his attitudes and things but since he was was um, assassinated we kind of can't do that okay and then you go here people who demonstrate these traumas okay this is how it affects people hateful attitudes towards the victims hitler's cult violence chilled the spines of many people but yet hitler's commands so here, here here's a distinction here now people who follow You have to think about it this way because you have to be precise. People who follow would be like the Schutzstaffel, the Nazis, or the SS. Okay, and I don't think that's most of us. Okay, so it didn't say anything about them being affected. It said what they did and what their results were. And that's here, due to Hitler's commands, Chill the spine, his victims suffer lifelong traumas, and unfortunately, these are some of the effects. Okay, so, again, you're not just talking about people who follow leaders, so he wants to explain the concept of the cult of personality. So he's, in, he's doing a basic concept of the cult of personality. So your first answer is D. Okay, D is the answer. All right. And we want to make sure that we're specific. This is why. So let's go on ahead and we're going to go say D. A lot of your answers are like that. Sorry, guys, I'm trying to get the highlighter here. So a lot of your answers are like that, but this is your answer D. Let's go on to the next question. So for question number two, all you're doing is you're looking at indoctrinated. And if, you, if you're taking a computer test, which most of them are now, you would go ahead and look at the word indoctrinated, you'd circle it, and it says, what is the best replacement? So in a movie, people became indoctrinated. For those of you who didn't go over your SAT word list, or if you don't have something, you can think lugubrious, but this really means sad. Ameliorate means to change or improve. And if you ever think of something, ameliore means to make better. Okay, we borrowed words from Spanish and French and what the ancient Romans spoke, which was Latin. Inculcated is a possibility. And amalgamated. You guys use this word in chemistry, and amalgamation means to join things together. So if you put this word here, you say people became joined together while celebrating Rocky style. Well, people were joined together, but... We want to talk about something else, okay? People would watch the Rocky Horror Show and look, and again, you want to try to get in close as indoctrinated, and this word you should have. Okay, let's take this word apart. This is in. Oops, sorry, guys. This means to place in a doctrine. And what is a doctrine? It's something that you do, something that you read. Uh, a lot of people read parts of our uh, religion, the Bible. A lot of people read the Torah. A lot of people read the Quran. A lot of people don't read anything. But doctrines are principles that you follow. Okay? So they're principles. So you're talking about something that makes you indoctrinated. Okay? Or to, to become so a part of something you're almost hypnotized so you're not sad that's what this word means you didn't change you're not a mixture so your only other choice is inculcated and this is uh, this word inculcated that we're looking at in C which is the answer okay this word C means Inculcate means to teach children, and again, you have in, to place in, and culcate is, is, is going to be hard because it's like a, 
cold means to put something in like a box or in a, in a, in a doctorate. And sometimes you don't want to overthink these. But again, our answers were D and C. Thank you for watching.